Okay, what if, what would you say if someone told you that at 60 years old, that's when all your dreams were going to come true? You were going to marry the love of your life. You were going to host your own cooking show. It was all going to happen during a pandemic. Would you believe <laughs> no, that? No, there's no way. <laughs> but that's what happened for Madeline Smithberg, once a television producer for Late Night with David Letterman and the co-creator and executive producer of The Daily Show with Jon Stewart. Madeline went from producing cooking segments on TV to starring in her own YouTube show called Mad in the Kitchen. Girl, everything is working for you. You are up in Seattle, Washington, crack of dawn. Did you ever imagine, Madeline, that in this moment you would be, we would, that would have been the intro that was read before your segment started? <laughs> <laughs> no. Hi, Hoda. Hi, Jenna. Hi. I really felt, even this morning as I woke up, God, I must have drank too much wine last night because <laughs> I had a dream that I was going to be on the Today Show this morning. <laughs> Silly me. No, the whole thing has been one giant out-of-body experience. Uh, for anybody, we played, crazy. we played Leslie Odom Jr. song, Wait For It, this yeah. morning, um, talking about voting. But but what if, for anybody that's like, oh my gosh, I want that love, or yeah. I want this career that to that I want, you know, that, that fulfills me, what do you say to them? I say, always have hope, never give up. I mean, the day that I started this channel, I was on my couch in my pajamas, crying audibly because the <laughs> pandemic had taken my career pivot as a chef away and my wedding had been canceled. And I just handed my husband, Sam, the TV. We get, we ran away and got married. And uh, I said, I handed him my phone and I said, shoot me, I'm gonna make some pasta. And six months later, here I am. It's nuts. <laughs> what about just it's the idea totally of nuts. meeting someone later in life? Cause that's another thing. People say, well, maybe I missed that shot. Our story is kind of interesting because we first met and fell in love in 1986 and he dumped me <laughs> very unceremoniously, found me on Facebook and 34 years later, we got married oh, and we'd I always both that. been, oh. it's kind of, it's like, even if it wasn't my story. So I want to talk to you about what I'm making today. Oh, yeah, just yeah, so yeah, we yeah, can there's that. Yeah, but I can't. I, I can talk and cook. Okay, All right, right. show us. Show us what you're making, because I think a lot of people want a dish to make for to comfort eat tonight. So tell us what we should eat. This is the ultimate comfort food. It is based on, so I spend a lot of time in Italy. I have a house there. I work for Italian TV. And the combination of butter and sage is yes. called burro salvia. And basically, you can put it on paper towels and uh, <laughs> impress your friends. So I decided to use butternut squash because I simply love it and I think that butternut squash ravioli is something that is yes. familiar really took it took it apart and I'm putting it back together I've made uh, a sauce with caramelized onions mm. sage mm. butternut squash mm. ricotta milk nutmeg mm. and I boiled my lasagna noodles and I always do them two minutes less than it says on the box oh. because they're gonna go in the oven. You don't want them to be mushy. No. And you like some mushy? I meat? make my sauce. Oh, if you don't want butternut squash, if for some reason you don't like it, you can use acorn squash, you can use pumpkin, or you can use yes, canned. Girl. You can do the pumpkin spiced lasagna roll up. <laughs> it's perfect for the season. But whatever you do, if you got the butter, you got the sage, you got the nutmeg. You can't go wrong. <laughs> so I've made my mixture and now I've got my noodles and I've cooked them, as I said, yeah. two minutes under. I did them a little too much the other night yeah. and they were too mushy. And when that happens, I get very depressed. And how long do you cook them in the oven, honey? Uh, 25 minutes covered and then you take the tin foil off and in the last 10 minutes you add more mozzarella and parmesan show, than you think show is us the beauty we yes, need to see we need it to, we want more time with here you here we go oh let's see it wait oh oh here it comes oh, it's oh, coming oh. out mad okay. in the kitchen you, oh. hang on you can get that we got to see that uh -huh. oh careful oh, mad. <laughs> that was, <laughs> okay. there it is that looks it's so really good it's really a beautiful thing 
and you've got your little roll-ups, which makes it just a little more fun than lasagna. Man, yeah. and, by the way, we love you. We want we you know, to come we back. We want you to come here and host with us. I will you? be back. You, I'm going to camp out at your door <laughs> yes, with my pots yes. and pans. All right. I'm having the time of oh. my life. Oh, and, oh my God, that was uh, so fun. We, can we love tell. you. We're going to see you back here in Studio 1A soon. Get that recipe today.com slash food. Okay.